Good day, young scientists. Today, we're going to do an experiment about limiting reagents, which has something to do with the law of conservation of mass. To do this experiment, we need to gather a few things first. Here we go. Vinegar, baking soda, a measuring cup, a funnel, five 500 milliliter plastic water bottles. We're also going to need an electronic balance and a piece of paper folded in half on top of the balance. We need a small funnel. I had to make one out of a piece of cardboard. We need the funnel so that we can pour baking soda into these balloons. Last but not least, we need a very handsome and talented science teacher. It'd be helpful if we also had an equally handsome and talented assistant. I think we're all set. You can read the full procedure in your lab document. We'll just skim over the basics quickly here. Add 250 milliliters of vinegar into the measuring cup. Measure it carefully. Use the funnel to decant or pour the vinegar from the measuring cup into one of the bottles. Each of the bottles needs 250 milliliters of vinegar. So repeat this step until all five bottles are full. Don't put the caps on the bottles. We won't need them. <laughs> Pouring all this vinegar reminds me of a story about my old Uncle Roy. <laughs> uh oh, I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Anyway, here we go. We're just about to get the balloons out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Aren't they pretty? This is the part where you gotta get the scale and put the paper on top of it. In order to measure the baking soda, we need to pour it onto a piece of paper folded in the middle so that we can easily take it and pour it someplace else. Make sure you zero the scale after you put the paper on, but before you pour the baking soda. What we're gonna do is put that baking soda in the funnel, and then we're gonna use the funnel to get it into the balloon. Here's the hard part. You need to get that baking soda down into the rounded bottom of the balloon so that you can snap the balloon onto the neck of the bottle without any of the baking soda falling into the vinegar. See that? Now, if you've been watching, you'll notice that each bottle gets a different amount of baking soda. Bottle number one with the blue balloon gets two grams of baking soda. Bottle number two with the green balloon gets four. Bottle three with the yellow balloon gets six. Bottle four with the orange balloon gets eight grams of baking soda. And the last bottle, the red one, gets 10 grams of baking soda. Remember that the baking soda is in the head of the balloon and it's not yet falling into the vinegar. We'll show you what this looks like from the side to give you a better idea. We'll just move all this stuff out of the way first and take a look from the side. You see how the balloons are hanging down? The spot where they're hanging down is where the baking soda is. So if you lift up the balloons like this, the baking soda just drops into the bottle. You may have to shake the balloon a little bit to encourage it to drop. You'll notice that the balloons start to inflate because a new gas is produced. We have an increasing amount of baking soda in each of the bottles. I wonder how much the balloons will inflate. We'll take a look after the experiment is finished and see how they stack up. Well, 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 let's take a look here. Balloons one and two are pretty small. Balloons three, four, and five are larger, but they're all roughly the same size. However, we increase the amount of baking soda in each balloon. Why wasn't there more gas produced in the last three balloons? It's not a mistake. So see if you can figure it out. Well, that's it for part one of this experiment. Part two will start in a moment. Make sure you have all of your observations done first before doing part two. Hey, this looks familiar. Five bottles, five balloons. We're not gonna do the same thing again, are we? No, we're not. We're gonna do something a little different. 
This time, we're changing the amount of vinegar in each bottle. Bottle A gets 250 milliliters of vinegar, just like all the bottles did in part one. Bottle B gets only 200 mils of vinegar. To keep the overall amounts the same, we'll top it up with water, so there's still 250 mils of liquid in total in the bottle. Bottle C gets 150 mils of vinegar plus 100 mils of water. Bottle D gets 100 mils of vinegar plus 150 mils of water. There's more water in bottle D than there is vinegar. Finally, bottle E contains mostly water with only 50 milliliters of vinegar. When chemists dilute a liquid more and more through multiple steps, they call it a serial dilution. That's serial with an S, meaning that it's done in a series. That's what we've done here, a serial dilution. Next, we're going to add baking soda to some new balloons. But this time, the amount of baking soda in each balloon is exactly the same. They'll all get 4 grams. No more, no less. Well, this part's a little boring, so I'll tell you that story about my old Uncle Roy. He used to work as the night watchman in a vinegar factory. One night, he smuggled in a suitcase full of baking soda because he wanted to know what would happen if he combined it with the vinegar. Well, he found out what happens when you do that. <laughs> you get fired. <laughs> All right, time for the moment of truth. Now remember, in this chemical reaction, the amount of baking soda is the same in all five bottles. The amount of vinegar is different. We're using a smaller amount of vinegar as we go from left to right. All right, here we go. Get this baby started. Whoa, 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 whoa. That one's going. All right, next one. Let's see, get that one going too. There we go. Perfect, beauty. All right, blue one, almost done. Good stuff. And we'll just get bottle D started. And hmm, doesn't seem to be as much action going on over here. Yeah, it's a little slow. Oh, there we go. Let's see, what about E? There we go. Hmm. This one's real slow. Look at that. Okay, here's a little recap as to how much vinegar was added to each bottle. Bottle A received 250, B 200, C 150, D 100, and E received only 50 mils of vinegar. Remember, each bottle received exactly the same amount of baking soda, which was about 4 grams. You should make a note in your observation table of the relative sizes of these balloons. Don't skimp on the details. The road to a level 4 mark is paved with the details. Good luck, and have fun sciencing.